Super Smash, Super Smash, the Super Mario Bros. movie was kind of garbage. It wasn't good. I chuckled a few times, and that was it. <laughs> I guess the overall movie itself was an okay movie. Definitely made for kids, but it was it was made for kids. It was a kid movie made for like adults, pretty much. People would understand the jokes and uh, appreciate the, the Easter egg story was kind of. I wish it was like a Mario and Luigi movie. It's not, it's not even a Mario saves Princess Peach movie. Kinda is towards the end, but yeah. Donkey Kong isn't a big bad. Like, I mean, if you remember playing like the arcade games, I didn't really play the arcade games like that, but I, I played them. I played a little bit of the games and I understand that Donkey Kong is a big bad. You're saving peeps from Donkey Kong pretty much. Uh, and uh, Donkey Kong wasn't a big bad in this movie. He was, a, you can technically say he was one of the bosses because um, in order for them to, spoiler alert, in order for them to gain assistance from the Kong dynasty, Mario pretty much had to beat Donkey Kong, right in a in a in a arena match, and it's designed to it's set up like uh, their the original game where he's throwing barrels at them. It's got the the uh, support beams, right, um, and shit like that, and um, get power ups and shit. Um, it's set up like that, and this is a uh, a seasoned Donkey Kong. Like he's he's done this before. He he fights. He's he's the he's the man in this arena. He's the champ. And then we get this vanilla Mario. He just came to this world, right? He's just now figuring out how things work. And he just learned how to actually use the power-ups and fight and whatnot. So he's still, he's, he's, he's a novice at best. And he somehow beats Donkey Kong in the arena. First time, first time really fighting, right? He beats Donkey Kong, which is fucking ridiculous. Now, what I think should have happened was that Donkey Kong was the main villain, not Bowser in this movie. And I feel like there should have been some type of like war between the Kongs and the Mushroom Kingdom where um, Mario comes, he comes to this new world, meets Peach, obviously falls in love with her. That's that's the thing, right? That's Mario and Peach, that, they're the thing. And she teaches him, she still has her like karate moves and shit like that. She's still like, she's pretty much the same character. You can keep her the same. You ain't got to change anything about Peach. I loved her. Mario gets, gets trained by Peach and stuff like that. And then the Kongs invade for whatever reason. There's some sort of dispute between the Kongs and the Mushroom Kingdom. And so the Kongs, like, they invade. There's a big fight and whatever. Uh, one thing leads to another. The Kongs basically win and they kidnap, right? They kidnap Peach or do something like in the, in this movie where uh, they threaten the Toad, right? And she goes willingly. She cares. She surrenders herself willingly and they take her to um, Kong Island or wherever they're from, their world. Now Mario and Luigi and Toad has to, they have to go to their world to save Princess Peach, pretty much, right? <clears throat> and and they do that. That's that's my idea of a first movie. I feel like that would have been so much better. Uh, at the end of the movie, Mario saves Peach um, and the Kongs have to accept their loss or whatever. And that's the end of the movie. They go back to the Mushroom Kingdom. It's the end. Mario goes back to Brooklyn, whatever. And then the second movie, that's when I think Bowser should have been introduced, right? Fuck it, same storyline. Like he wants to marry Peach and if not, he has a superstar, he has the star power. So he's gonna fucking take over the world, right? And so Mario comes back, uh, Bowser finds his way to Peach. Instead of her surrendering, maybe Bowser actually kidnaps her. You know what I'm saying? Now Mario comes back, and maybe he has a date plan and Peach is gone, everyone's in like turmoil. <clears throat> and here we go again, Mario and Luigi, so, Maybe Yoshi this time, Daisy is here. You know what I'm saying? We have a few more characters. They go to, uh, they go to Bowser's castle to look for Peach. And like I said, they can change it up a little bit. Maybe they even go to uh, DK. They go back to uh, Kong Island and uh, request the help of Donkey Kong, again, uh, Donkey Kong and the Kong army. And uh, there's another fight. Mario has to prove himself again. It gets uh, upgraded like Donkey Kong and shit. Mario now, knows how to use his power a little better. He knows how to use the powers a little better. It's a better fight. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, we get more of the game, more of the original game in there mixed in. Maybe it's a team battle. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's the other Kongs, Diddy, uh, fuck, what's the other one? Um, Dixie, Lanky, all of them, Tiny, like, or Teeny Kong, whoever it is. Like, maybe it's a team thing. You know what I'm saying? We get more characters introduced. And uh, obviously Mario wins this fight and he uh, gains the trust or the respect and he gains the Kong army and they go to Bowser's castle and everything. Now they got to fight the, the fucking uh, the Goombas. They got to fight the, the Dry Bones. They got to fight, uh, who's the ghost's name? I can't remember the ghost. Um, they got to fight them. Maybe Bowser Jr.'s are introduced. Bowser Jr., 
fucking Morton, all of them are introduced as well. And you know what I'm saying? It's an all out war to get Princess Peach back. That would have been a great movie. And then like the trilogy, a third movie could have been like Waluigi and Wario introduced. I feel like that would have been a way better storyline in my head. That just works better than what I watched the other day. So I kind of wish they did that instead. This movie was not, it was not it for me. Not it for me. I'm not a, I'm not a super, super Mario fan or anything like that, but it just wasn't enough. I feel like we didn't get enough Luigi and Mario. After the, the trilogy, they could have went off and did like Luigi's Mansion. Uh, so I would score it. Best score for me, for me to give it is probably a four or five out of, out of 10. Like I said, I've seen worse movies. I've seen some pretty terrible movies. This wasn't the worst. It wasn't the best. Pretty average. A little below average.